Hello, I'm Landon Schlangen, and today we are going to go through the data analysis with Python certification. And we're just going to start with the first project because this data analysis with Python has a bunch of video tutorials on how to do NumPy and how to do pandas. Um, but I'm just going to start on the first project. And the first project is called Mean Variance Standard Deviation Calculator. So we're just going to hop right into it, click onto it, and then view the full project description and start a code on REPL.it. Reload if it's having a bit of trouble. Should work. All right, and here we have it. Here's the markdown for what we have to do, the assignment. And we need a function named calculate that will return a dictionary in this format. It takes in a three by three matrix that's in a format of just a list. So kind of weird there. It's not actually like a matrix. It's just a list, but it has to have nine numbers in it. And then we have to output like the axis one mean, the axis two mean, and then the flattened array mean. And then same with the variance, standard deviation, the max, the min, and the sum. So this project's not too difficult, but it is kind of weird to just start working with NumPy. So let's take a look at this calculate function. We don't have anything in here right now, but we do have NumPy imported. So that's good. First thing we want to do is turn this list into a NumPy list. So we just do that with ls equals mp dot array. And then we pass in the list. And then we can, we can return a dictionary for now, I guess. Just copy this because it's what we're going to be returning. But I would just comment it out for now so that there's no errors. So now we have this list. I want to print the list just to see what we have. Print ls. Let's try running this. And it has to like update its packaging. All right, there we go. There's our list that printed out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it also ran the tests that we failed. But obviously, we're going to fail them. So next up, we need to figure out the mean for the axis 1, axis 2, and flattened. How do we do this? Well, I'm just going to grab each part of the list and then find the mean of them. And I did it with this bit of code right here. Let's see if the markdown has anything to say about this. Yeah, the markdown, how it has three numbers for the first one and three numbers for the second one, and then just one number for the third one, for the flattened one. So this is what we're doing for this. We're making an array, right? And I actually don't need these parentheses on the ends. I don't think we're making an array and we're grabbing the first three inside the list and then we're finding the mean of those and putting them in this array and then doing that for the four through sixth and then the seventh through ninth numbers and then we kind of do the same thing for, for the columns except we get different indexes so there we go we grab index zero three and six one four and seven and two five and eight so now if i uncomment this one the mean and I instead put mean rows in here. Actually, it wants mean columns first. It wants columns first and then rows. So mean rows after. And then the flattened one, all, the, all we have to do for that is do ls.mean. And that should work for that. So let's try running that now. For some reason, it's not printing this out. Oh, maybe it's uh, underneath. Clear the console and run it again. OK, there we go. There's our mean. 3, 4, 5, 1, 4, and 7, and then 4. If we look at the markdown, that's the same as what they have here. So this works great. And we kind of just repeat the process for variance, standard deviation, maximum, and sum. It's uh, not too difficult. So what I can do here is I can just copy this down which with, with option shift down and then option down again to bring it lower. And then all I have to do is change the mean here, grab all the instances of mean with command D. It might be different for Windows and just change it to var like that. Now it's variance. And then we can uncomment this and variance will equal var rows var columns and flattened will be ls.var and let's try running that. And here's our variance. Kind of hard to read, but yeah, it's a uh, 666 and then two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, and then 6.67, which I believe is the same as what they have in the markdown too. So that's good. Next up, standard deviation, same process. And I can literally do the same thing for all of them. All right, so standard deviation is just uh, STD. For standard deviation, uh, max is just max, min is just min, and sum is sum. And yeah, we just put them inside these arrays, and then we can run it, and it will print out and should uh, complete the tests. So let's try it. Clear the console, run it, and it still failed. Oh yeah, one more thing. Yeah, index 7 is out of bounds. That's because they're using an array with only 7 numbers instead of 9. 
So we have to handle that case. And it also says we have to raise, yeah, it says make sure we have a value error and then list must contain nine numbers. So the way we raise a value error in Python is just by doing raise value error and then we pass in the message that we want it to say. But we only want to do this if the list is not equal to nine in length. So there we go. If length of the list is not equal to nine, then we raise a value error of the list has to contain nine numbers. And now if we run it, we should complete all the tests. Yep, ran three tests and we completed them all. This is what we get for the output. And yeah, this one wasn't too bad. It was a good introduction to using NumPy. Being able to access array values using this index type thing and then just tacking on a function or a method to find the mean, variance, standard deviation, and the others. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Next up, well actually let's go back to free code camp so that we can submit this. Go to data analysis, mean, variance, standard deviation, and we just want to copy our REPL link and paste it in right there, complete the challenge, and then go to the next one. Next one is this demographic data analyzer. So let's quick take a look at this. So in this one, we get census data for demographics, and we have to answer these questions about the data. So how many people of each race are represented in the data set? So if we go to the thing here, we have to use pandas for this. So yeah, this actually reminds me a lot of SQL, where we have to basically query our data and get some useful information out of it. So like this, we have to find the average age of just the men. So how do we parse through all the data that we're given and then find that? So yeah, this one should be good to do. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment because I read all the comments and I will see you next time. See ya.